Hey friends, welcome back. Now, I hope you have explored Power BI a little bit more in detail, the options, the formatting options available, and you've created a report, which probably looks much better than the one I have shown you here. So now let's actually dive a little bit deeper into Power BI. So far, remember what we used in order to create our first report was an easy Excel table. It was only one table, so nothing special. But now we will use a more advanced data set. So I already opened this in Excel. Let me just open it here and show you what it looks like. And again, you can download it from the resource section to follow along. Here we have multiple tables. As you can see here, I got data, sales data for 2022, which is this one here. Looks like that. Also jump to the beginning here. And I got here an order ID, product ID, location ID, salesperson ID, custom ID, and so on. And there's also a date, quantity, and a price. And the same is true concerning the structure for the sales 2021 and also for the sales 2020, like that. So we've got three different kinds of tables, which all look the same concerning the structure. But of course, currently they are three different kinds of tables. So we need to bring them together into one big table. That's the third string, which we need to be aware of. Secondly, as you can see that in the sales table, that's exactly the structure which I described when we talked about the model view in Power BI, we have some IDs like product ID, for instance, but we have no information about the product. However, what we have is if you take a look at the next tab here, we have a products tab. And this products tab here has information about the product. In this case, it's the product name and there's information about the cost of the product, the sales price, the discount and so on. And we can link the product name, this one in column number B, as well as all the information available for the product using the product ID, because the product ID is available in this table and also it is available in the sales table in column B here. And the same is true then for other information, like for instance, sales person ID. Again, we got an ID here and in our salespeople column here on the tab, we got also the person ID and then the name itself. So that means we have various tables, same is true here, by the way, for customers and also for locations in here. We always had the ID and then we got additional information regarding the specific uh, locations, customer and so on. The data itself, of course, is not available in the sales table. There we only have the IDs. But because we have a common column, we can now link everything together in our sales in, in Power BI data set in the model. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So um, just wait for it and I hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, best guys.